What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today is rental team day and for me it's kind of early because I dropped like the first video with this team like yesterday. Uh, but due to it being Christmas weekend and me needing to travel 200 miles to visit my girlfriend's family uh, and there being a snowstorm on the way, uh, I have to leave early. So I've recorded like every video ahead of time except for one, which I'm going to have to record in my girlfriend's family's basement. Uh, but I'll, I'll take care of that for Monday. But today, you know, we're doing this uh, Skeledurge uh, Dondozo team that uh, I made. I'm probably going to use it in a tournament even though I'm sharing it. Uh, but it's a really fun team. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Uh, and answer my comment question of the day. What do you think is the best partner Pokemon for Dondozo or Skeledurge? Let me know. So yeah, uh, this is the team. Just general overview. Uh, there's the rental code up top. Let's actually switch over to Showdown really quick so I can give you guys a full breakdown. So... Over here on Showdown, uh, we have the Tatsugiri Droopy, which is actually uh, going to be boosting the physical defense stat of the Dondozo. Uh, for the set, we're actually running a bulkier set, 44, eight, or 228 HP, uh, 4 defense, 228 special attack, 4 special defense, 44 speed. The reason I'm running this is um, basically it's just like, hey, if I manage to uh, somehow get up to, uh, or what is it? It's like speed creeping the Pokemon that... Uh, are trying to speed creep for Dragapult. 108 is one point faster than 107, so like if Pokemon's under uh, Tailwind, then they're going to outspeed Dragapult at 107. I'm 108, so granted no Tailwind, I'm going to be outspeeding those Pokemon. It's also just like a decent speed tier if you don't know what to calc for. Uh, the rest is bulk because I'm running a Wikiberry set. What this will allow me to do is make it easier for my Palmot to go for Revival Blessing on my Tatsugiri, because Tatsugiri has Protect, so basically it's going to allow me to um, just be able to more reliably get the Dondozo back in case I mess up my setup. Uh, we have Dondozo, Leftovers, Order Up, Rest, Body Press, Sleep Talk. This is the most annoying Dondozo set to go up against, especially since it's Terra Steel. Uh, we have 28 HP, 244 Special Defense, 236 Speed. That's going to outspeed Garchomp at plus two. Uh, we're Terra Steel, so we're not going to be able to be clear smogged. Uh, we have Order Up to boost our defenses, uh, Body Press to use those defenses offensively, uh, Rest and Sleep Talk to deal damage while I'm recovering health, and also if I end up being put to sleep by an Amoongus, I can really mess them up with Sleep Talk, which is very funny. We have our Focus Sash Palma, Terra Flying. A lot of people suggested Terra Electric, but I think Terra Flying makes the team a little bit more reliable. Uh, while I won't have infinite double shocks by not being Terra Electric, uh, I will be able to more reliably get my Revival Blessing off in front of a ground-type attacker like Garchomp. Uh, Fake Out is very nice coming off a 105 base speed. Close Combat off a 115 attack as well as Double Shot is super high damage, which is always very nice. And Revival Blessing can be used on like Gothitelle, Dondozo, uh, Skeledurge, Golden Go. All of them, like, you know, they do well, especially since I have like Recovery on Dondozo and Skeledurge to get back up to full. Uh, we have our standard Gothitelle set that I run on like every Dozo team, Protect, Fake Out, Psychic Hypnosis. It's running that 107 speed, so I outspeed things at plus two with, uh, or if they're at minus two due to like Icy Wind drops. We have Hypnosis to just be like the most annoying players on the ladder, Psychic for general damage output, and yeah. We have my bulky Skeledurge set. Uh, it's running 244 HP, 4 defense, 52 special attack, 204 special defense, 4 speed. So... This will allow me, specifically this spread, is just guaranteeing a one-shot on Meow Scaradas with uh, Torch Song. So whether it's Fake Out into Torch Song or like Protect the Gothitelle into Torch Song, I'm always going to one-shot against uh, Meow Scaradas if they're Sash or not. Um, and that will allow me to more effectively remove them from the game. Like I don't have to worry about them like possibly living uh, and then KOing my Dondozo down the road. We're Terra Grass, which will allow us to uh, burn and wall out things like Garchomp very effectively. And also Meow Scarada, like while it does have U-turn, if it locks into Flower Trick, uh, that'll make it like super easy for us to wall out even if like, like if they lock themselves in the Flower Trick, right? Like yeah, Fire resist it, but Grass also resists it. So I don't lose anything on that front, but it's better because if they go for knockoff, then I'm not weak to that anymore, which is very nice. Slack off, Will-O-Wisp, just general bulk set. Uh, the bulk is just maximizing the special defense. If I remember, I, I kind of forget, but I think I take Modest Shadow Ball from Opposing Golden Go with this spread, uh, and then I'm able to KO them back with plus one Shadow Ball or Torch Song. My Golden Go is just Life Orb, Make It Rain, Nasty Hot, Protect, Shadow Ball, Terra Flying, you know the deal. It's just a general Golden Go. So yeah, 
let's go ahead and get back to the in-game uh, in game scene and let's just grab a couple of games. This is going to be a, a one take. You know, I'm, if, if I lose both games, whatever. If I lose one game, whatever. I'm actually decently high ranked right now. I've played a couple of... Yeah, I'm like 861. I'm, I'm like at a decent rank. Um, and it's mostly due to this team. Like this team's like really easy to climb with. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So yeah. And like, let's say I lose both my games today. Whatever. You guys have seen the other videos. I went undefeated on my last live stream and I played like eight, nine games. It was crazy. This team goes crazy. And it doesn't show up on screen on the rental code for some reason because it's bugged. But the team name is El Croco, no? If you get it, you get it. It just means you're like Mexican. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do. Zuko, 1775. Uh, yeah, we're facing like opposing Tatsugiri. This is more standard uh, Tatsugiri Dondozo. Um, mine is a little bit less standard. But I think for this team, we benefit heavily from the uh, Skeledurge plus Gothitelle lead. Uh, I could also go with the Pomot Gothitelle lead. That actually covers quite a bit. The only thing is it's less reliable. It's more reliable for beating Hydreigon, but it's less reliable for beating everything else. Which is a little risky. I just kind of, I, I don't think they're going to bring Hydreigon to this game, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, and I'm willing to go for the Dondozo mirror. Because I'm defense boosting, I win that mirror. I don't care. I don't care. I win that mirror. Because they're attack boosting. They're the uh, the orange Tatsugiri. Which might imply that they're not running uh, unaware. They might be running oblivious to avoid intimidates. Yaskarada Hydreigon. Uh, I don't quite like this lead, but I basically guarantee a KO on Meowskarada here, which is really nice. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna lean into that. So, I'm gonna fake out here. I am gonna Terra my Skeledurge, because I don't want to get one shot by Hydreigon. And I'm gonna go for the Torch Song on a Meowskarada. Kinda wish I let off Palmot now, because that would always just annihilate this lead, and it would also give me a second shot with my... Uh, with my Dondozo, but I didn't think they'd bring Hydra to this game, to be honest. Or I guess I could see why. You know, I do have the, the Skeledurge. And the Gothitelle. You know what, maybe I should have just brought Palm Up. But I, I feel more comfortable piloting with Skeledurge, because it gives you so much room for error. Where with Palm Up, you, you gotta, like, almost play it perfectly. Alright, hopefully they're, like, banded and they just don't protect here. Alright. So this is a guaranteed one-shot. Dark Pulse, it goes into Gothitelle, which is best for me. Um, I might be losing it early on, but this is a fair trade considering I'm going for a Dozo game. Nice. Get a special attack raise. We also saw that it was uh, Life Orb on the Hydreigon, so I actually don't know if it takes this body press. It's going to be a little risky. But get, getting rid of their, like, number one check is going to be really nice. Alright. Uh, in this situation, I think I always just go for body pressing, go for the Tatsu immediately. I don't think they brought their Dozo, obviously, because they ended up bringing the Armourish. But uh, I'm, like, almost max special defense, so if I can wall out this Armourish well enough, we'll be okay. Obviously, a Terra Blast will hurt, but I don't believe it even, like, three hit KOs at plus two. Uh, the, the main issue is going to be KOing this Hydreigon, which plus two body press might do. Yeah, and my defense stat is higher than my attack stat, so this is always better. Since they're both 80 base power. Alright, hopefully this KOs. I'm actually not certain. It depends how bulky they are. Probably going to be Terra Grass. Actually, if they Terra Steal the Hydreigon, I wouldn't complain. Alright, Terra Grass. Terra Dark. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you, Body Press Food. Alright, KO, please. Let's go! What are they going to go for? Trick Room? Could be Trick Room. As my computer says, I have to go to work today. But I don't. I have the day off. They go for the Trick Room. 
Um, I have plus two defense. I don't know what I should be really scared of here. I can like, I think I can one shot this guy. Oh, Sylveon's a little bit scary. I gotta admit, Sylveon is a little bit scary, but I just like focus down the uh, the armorish here, like every time. They go for Yawn. They don't know I have Sleep Talk. They don't know I have Sleep Talk. <laughs> Psychic shouldn't do too much. Yeah, don't spit F drop. Sicko mode. Uh, almost a KO. And I think here they might just protect. So I don't think they attack with armorage. I think they might protect. So I'm actually going to go for a rest. Because it'll allow me to get all of my health back at the end of the turn. Uh, as well as control how many turns I'm going to be asleep. Alright, protect your armor, you stinky. Psychic? That's fine. So now I control how much health I have. And how many turns I'm asleep. I'm always going to be asleep for two turns, so this was the correct play. I could have KO'd the, uh... I could have KO'd the Armourish, but I'm actually not terribly scared of anything here, so I'm going to go for Sleep Talk now. Not Order Up, Sleep Talk. Uh, and I basically just have to hope that my attack targets into Armourish, because it's completely random. Oh, that crit. That kind of sucks. And their Throat Spray, so the next one's going to do the same amount. Yeah, I don't like that. That's pretty bad. I kind of need to get this now. I kind of need to get this immediately. I, I need to target the armor rouge. All right, come on. Sleep talk, come in clutch. Come in clutch. Any move on the armor rouge. Oh, that's literally the worst option. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying, bro. Yeah, I would have been fine if that didn't crit. I can try to sleep talk again, but I'm fairly certain to get KO'd by the double up now because the hyper voice does too much. Oh wait, that did like almost nothing. Never mind, I'm fine. I, I, I completely forgot that like my thing gets bypassed. My, my stat drops. <laughs> or my stat boosts. Alright, just target Armourish. Target Armourish and that's a win. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Alright, yeah, they don't win this because uh, Skeledurge hard walls them. Dude, Sleep Talk Dozo goes crazy. And I, I don't know, I might live this? Who knows? Twisted Dimensions to turn to normal? Yo! Alright. Uh, I'm going, you know, I'm a little EP. I'm gonna go back to sleep. Good night. I'm a little EP right now. I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> Does like nothing. Alright. They're probably just going to forfeit here. They should know what's coming up. Uh, I sleep talk here. Fish for two body presses. No, nope, they're going to go for it. Okay. I guess they're just fishing for crits. And I am a big fish, so it makes sense. Body press. Nice. My Skeledurge outspeeds. Honestly, I just like keep hitting it. Like, I, I let the Dondozo go down, and I just get, like, Skeletor Jin and win. Also, they're, they're like, not leftovers, because they were Throat Spray, so they don't have recovery. Give me another Body Press. Yes! Okay. Uh, and yeah, now I wake up, so I just keep clicking body press. Next one KOs. Alright. Nice. A very clean game. A very clean, well, not not like clean because I could have messed up really bad in the end there, but a very clean game. Let's get one more.
Also, I'm pretty sure I faced this person on the ladder before. That trainer card looks very familiar. All right. Let's keep it up. 710. Maybe I'll hit top 500 by the end of this video. Jim Boom. Okay. Or there's no space, so it's just Jim Boom. Yo, why do you like hard lose to uh to Don Dozo? Why do you like actually hard lose to Don Dozo? It's the only thing that they have for the Dozo is gonna be that Gengar, and if I can like just deal with the Gengar, I'm fine. So I'm gonna actually lead off Pomot Gothitel. And we're gonna go Dozo in the back. And if I can get rid of that Gengar, we're just gaming. Just absolute gaming. And it shouldn't be that bad. I have the Kasib Berry for a reason. It helps me get rid of ghost types pretty easily. Uh, just by like, it lets me spam Psychic into them, right? Like I take a Shadow Ball from opposing Goldango. I take a, uh, a Shadow Ball from opposing uh, Gengar. I'm able to take 100 base power Rage Fist. Actually, I think I take 150 base power Rage Fist as well. Kasib Berry Gothitel is just like really solid. But yeah, as soon as I Terra Steel... No, literally, like, if I Terra Steel and get rid of the Gengar, or if they just don't bring the Gengar, I win. They don't have a breaker for that. Unless Pelipper learns Haze? Let me check that, because now I'm getting a little anxious about that. Pelipper? You don't learn Haze, right? Don't do this to me. Pelipper. Haze. It doesn't. Okay, we're good. Actually, what are all the Haze Pokemon? He doesn't have any on this team, right? It's, oh, wait, Palafin gets Haze. Wait, that's crazy info. <laughs> that's crazy info. It's just going to be like Haze Gengar, if anything. I think you're forced to run Haze on Gengar, this this uh, format. Yo, with the three Psyducks? Among Us Gengar. Okay. Um... I can just go for the KO. Like, I, I let Amoongus put me to sleep. Like, real talk, I let Amoongus put me to sleep, and I just go for the double shock into the Gengar. Because I think they're just going to go for, like, slu not, sli uh, yeah, not Sludge Bomb. I think they're just going to go for Shadow Ball and, um, like, Spore. So if they don't protect here... Yeah, no, no, I got rid of the only check for Dondozo immediately. And aggressively. And if Palmot lives, this is going to go crazy. Alright. You're definitely not running Haze Palafin, so... Thank you. Alright, let's see who gets Spored. Into the Gothitelle, that makes sense. That's the thing. The Kasib Berry Gothitelle is like 100% bait for Haze Gengar. Because they're like, yeah, yeah, I can get rid of it. Um, In this situation, I hard switch out the Gothitelle for Don Dozo. And... I could actually, like, keep the Palmot. Let's just keep the Palmot. I'm going to go Tatsugiri. Because I dodged the Spore then, and they're probably not going to double Spore the, the Gothitelle, I would imagine. It's too risky. Watch them clear smog immediately. I would cry. <laughs> I would cry. But that does give me an opportunity to revival blessing and like flex with that. Like I just play it until the Dondoza goes down and then revival blessing it back in. All right. Unless they're like guillotine King Gambit, I like don't drop to this. All right, hopefully like spore into the Palmot. Or even Rage Powder. Yep, there's the Rage Powder. 
Cool. I Terra Steel here and then go absolutely crazy. Oh, okay. Or you can just start off with that. That's cool too. Um, all things considered, I don't have to, I, I should rest now. I should rest now. I'm going to Terra and rest. It's the safest option. Yeah, had they not immediately crit me, I would have been fine. Dude, that's the second game in a row where I just immediately got crit with my Dozo. Alright, clear smog me, stinky. Going to sleep. Thank you. This is actually going to be Guillotine King Gambit, isn't it? That's not like a set, but I, I, it might be. It might be. <laughs> When you're playing with Dozo, you're always scared. Giga Drain? Oh, they don't even have it. Okay. Time to click Sleep Talk. Yeah, they need, like, consecutive crits to deal with me. Honestly, an order up would be appreciated here more than, uh, more than a body press. We withdraw the Amoongus. What's their check for this? Helipper? No, that's not a check. Unless they're like chilling water. That could go hard. Alright, give me uh give me an order up into Pelipper. That that'd be hot. Or a body press into King Gambit, that works too. Okay, uh the worst one, you know, we got the bad luck out of the way. Brick break? Okay, that doesn't do too much. Helper doesn't get Scald anymore either, so I'm not terribly scared of it. Wait, what if it's like Terra, Terra Water Hydro Pump? What if they do that to me right now? Alright, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. I, any move that isn't rest is fine. Okay, no, just rest again. I'm gonna have to rest. I'm gonna have to rest again. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm bound to get crit eventually. Let's try this again. All right. Helper's also bound to miss a Hydro Pump at some point, so I'm not too scared of it. Alright, it looks like I really need this order up. Sleep talk. Alright, give me something good. Not rest. I am going to break something. <laughs> You know what? They haven't seen the last of this guy. They have not seen the last of this man. Alright. Sleep talk. Give me something good. I just body press. Dude, body press the King Gambit. Anything, really. Just body press it. Body press anything. Let me break a sash. Come on. Come on. Okay. That's fine. That's good damage. Tetsuguri should be able to eat a hit. Especially if they went for Brick Break, which is probably safer. Counts out, Cleave. You can eat the hit. Oh! <laughs> that was close. That was close. I cannot deny. That was pretty close. We gotta bring him back. Let me get the survival blessing off. Get my protect. And this time, nah, I'm just going right for the body press. I'm not playing games anymore. I'm going right for the body press on that King Gambit. I am no longer playing games. 
Especially since uh, I'm not going to be Terrid anymore, it's more safe. Alright. This guy's thinking. It's like, what's my best play? You don't have one, Stinky. And Gambit? Alright. Well, now I actually just go for order ups into it. Yeah, they're thinking I was gonna go for close combat. Sucker punch me, that'd be so funny. Alright, the Dawn is back. Hurricane's gonna KO. Let's get the Dawn back in. And now I do it again. Because I'm water type now. Hurricane's weaker than Hydro Pump, so I can easily tank the hit. So here, I just go for the- I go for the order up first and then I rest. I have to not get crit though. Give me a defense boost. All right. Had your pump. That's resisted now. Brick break. That's re that's that's not super effective anymore. Oh yeah, baby, gaming. Um, do I dare hit it again? I think I rest now. I have to, listen, we're back. We're back here. <laughs> we're back here. They should be going for hurricane. Hydro pump. Do they not have hurricane? Counts out Cleave. Alright. The rain has stopped. I, I have to be careful with the Moongus now because it might have clear smog, but I'm thinking that they would have gone for it already if they had it. And usually you run it over Giga Drain. So while Giga Drain will hurt, it's not the end of the world. This is such a slow paced game because I'm like, I, if had I gotten any like attacks earlier, I would have been fine. Okay, there we go. That's, like, decent. Critical hit? Okay, well, maybe it's not as good as I thought. Hurricane. They connect it. No confusion, hopefully. Brick break. They're forgetting how weak these moves are. Alright, if they could miss a Hurricane, that'd be so hot. If I get, like, a an order up, that'd be really cool. Come on, buddy. We used all of our luck up earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we did. They miss a hurricane, that's great. I'm gonna rest again. Do I rest again? No, I just go for the raw order up. I do just go for the raw order ups now. And hope I don't get crit by hurricane, but the chances of getting crit by hurricane are a lot lower. Since uh, it has to bypass accuracy. To even get a chance to crit. All right, critical hit there. Okay, no confusion. I got confused. I have to rest that off. All right, they got a shot here. It all comes down to if I get confused. I actually probably have like two shots here. Oh, that's the wrong move. Rest. Come on. Alright, he already closed his eyes in the animation, so I'm pretty sure that's what it meant. <laughs> I 
Hurricane, they miss it. They're running out of moves. Hurricane doesn't have that much PP. Alright. And those body those uh, order ups are helping me out quite a bit now. Sleep talk. They withdraw the Pelipper. They're gonna go into Amoongus. I don't mind that too much. Because honestly, if I get rid of this King Gambit, and they would have gone to clear smog Amoongus ages ago if they had it. If I can get rid of King Gambit, I'll be happy. Alright. Any attack into King Gambit is is good here. Order up, let's go! Alright, King Gambit's gone. Uh, am I facing down two special attackers? Yes. Uh, is Are they a lot less scary than King Gambit? Oh, 100%. 100%. Cuz I don't even think they go for spore on me anymore. Really my play here is just going to land a couple of uh a couple of order ups on Pelipper and I'm like set. So I do another sleep talk. Hopefully I can snap out of confusion. Yep. Alright, if I can land an order up on Pelipper, I'd be really happy here. Alright, it's gonna be on to Amoongus. That's fine, it's decent damage. Helps me out in the long run in case I have to play for timer. Hydro Pump isn't gonna do that much. Yeah, and Giga Drain shouldn't hurt too bad. Yeah, my play here is gonna be focused down Pelipper uh, for the rest of the game, and then I win. Because this has been a long match, and I probably win by timer anyways. But I need to make sure Pelipper goes down to be safe. Because I have three Pokemon, they have two. But Pelipper could actually turn it around. So I order up here. And two more of these will do it. Hurricane. No crit. No confusion, Giga Drain. Alright. Do I have to rest? Let me think. How much time is left in the match? Because they could Rage Powder and go for a Hurricane crit, and that's like the scary thing. I think I'm willing to just try this. Because if I get rid of Pelipper, it's just a win. I'm willing to try it. Yep, they forfeit. Nice. Let's go. Alright. Let's see what my ranking is after that. Probably like 600 something. All right, let's see. Switch battle teams. 712? Like, no points. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, comment uh, snore me, 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 me in the, in the comments down below. Because <laughs> we did a lot of sleep talking today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, the paste for this team is in my Discord, which you can join in the link down below. And yeah, have a nice one. Bye.